Hey, good morning, Alfred. Can you hear us okay? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Well, how about yourself? Uh, doing great. Go ahead, Anthony. No, I was just going to introduce you to uh, Javier. He's uh, one of the mentors uh, for the company Power, uh, in which your is, is Ramona your uh, auntie? Yes, yeah, she is. Yeah. So this is Ramona. Ramona is an ambassador and this is her nephew. And he was actually looking into solar. I believe he's had a couple of companies already uh, kind of come by and and talk to him about it. So he just wanted to see what uh, what she and uh, and we had to offer and if it was comparable to what um, the other companies are offering. Perfect. OK, well, thank you so much for your time and thank you for being here. I really uh uh, appreciate it. I know you're busy on this Sunday, so I'm not going to take much of your time. Uh, you know, we all can go about our day here. But what I would like to do is, I know that you've spoken and you probably have done a lot of your homework already. First of all, can you see the uh, PowerPoint that says Power Energy? Yes. I'm just going to fly through something because I wanted to cover a few things before we get to your proposal. Uh, my only intention is to show you your proposal, pricing, and payment. And then again, I don't have a lot of information in regards to the whys, which I'll ask you here in just a little bit. To make sure that you know not only can we be competitive but when you show me something in writing from an actual company that includes everything uh, we've really never lost a deal uh, we can be as competitive as we need to because we'd rather work for referrals to be honest with you than for commission or anything like that so we're not you know we're not trying to do that at all uh, but i just wanted to start real quick i'm not going to go with because obviously you already are looking into going solar there's a lot of great reasons including the tax incentives i'm sure you're aware that 26 percent tax credit expires this year. So I'm sure that's probably part of the reason you want to go solar. But if you don't mind me asking, what has made your prompt you to consider going solar? My electric bill. Ah, well, welcome to the club. Uh, I came on board here, not as a solar expert, just so you know, uh, but rather a financial services. This is where I come from. I live in Ontario and my electricity bill goes to five, 600 bucks in the summer, like it's nothing. Uh, mm -hmm. it's hot. You gotta have the AC on. And so my journey into solar started about five years ago, when, almost six, when I bought this home. And immediately, uh, I, when that bill started coming in in the summertime, and you know, for me, summer really starts like in March, April, and goes all the way to October, um, I started scrambling. I, went, uh, I found some solar companies that came out, they gave me bids, but I didn't like a couple of things. Number one thing I didn't like, they required $46,000 down payment, which I thought was really to pay my bill. Uh, then my panel is... Uh, maxed out so i need a new panel so they say you got to pay three thousand for a new panel somewhere else and then come back and see us and so i didn't see the value until last year when somebody again uh, told me about power and i had already had the sun runs and the other companies uh pro proposal stuff and to be honest with you i like the package here because kind of like the one i'm sure you're considering now we can do it like most companies zero down payment uh it's pretty cool nothing out of pocket we will go ahead and do that and I'll show you some of the things that also makes us unique. Uh, so anyways, you've looked at it before, you understand the importance. And um, what about solar interests you the most? The, the question that I do want to ask you in a couple of slides will be the batteries as to why. I, I think we have it priced with three batteries. And I'll get to that in just one second. Uh, but again, uh, you already know the sizing. You have a nice size home. You have a nice size uh, system in place. Uh, and as you know, this is how solar works. The sun or the rays technically uh, photons hit your panels. It gets converted into, uh, from AC converted to, I'm sorry, from DC to AC, your home uses the electricity. Any power you don't use goes back up to the grid, which you can actually sell back to your power or your utility company that gives you credit for the days when your panels are not producing the electricity. Uh, the, also, the other way I describe a properly designed uh, a properly designed pan, uh, panel system or solar system is that it can serve as the ultimate battery, which I'll get to in just one second as well. We're down, we went from 30%. Right now we're at 26% federal tax credit. At the end of the, uh, starting next year, I should say, we go down to 22% and so on and so on. So you're, you're at a good time to do that. But the one thing that I do want to you know, just really stress to you, when you compare solar systems, they are intended to be on your roof for at least 25 years. And so therefore, <coughs> peace of mind is very important. Meaning, as you shop around, ask them two questions. Number one, how long is my warranty good for? And number two, who's going to back it? And what I mean by that, the name of our company, we just celebrated uh, installing our 10,000 unit. We have over 10,000 solar system installations. 
And what makes us unique, one of the things is that we offer you literally a 30 year bumper to bumper warranty on not just the panels, but also the installation and also the components, meaning the inverters and everything else that goes with it. But what's what about really, the batteries? Uh, the batteries do, do not, not for 30 years because of the battery. How many years? Uh, it comes from strictly from the manufacturer. I'll give you an example. I have a test, I have two Teslas. And so one of them is the S, uh, S60, which is 60 kilowatt battery. Um, I've had it since, uh, well, it's, it's, it's a 2015 model. They, my, bad, my warranty expired on the Tesla. And three months later, the battery pack went out. Now the battery packs are $14,000 packs on these Teslas if they, if, if they go out on you. Thankfully, while the warranty on my car had expired, the battery pack has a 10 year warranty, which is what most battery manufacturers are gonna offer you. Uh, because again, they're not from the company, meaning us, they come from whoever's making it. We, we, we do everything from uh, end phase to, you name it, we have them all. Now there's a difference in price as well, which I'll cover in just one second. So for me, I always explain to people, you do realize, and I need you to realize that no matter who you go with, you understand that the technology, uh, the battery technology is not the same as the panel technology. We've advanced so much with panels that has brought the cost of the average solar system down over 45%. Batteries are not there. So I don't care if you go with me or with anybody else with batteries. The only thing I warn my clients about is that, no, please don't think about comparing your uh, batteries to let's just say the panels, you will be replacing them in X number of years. And because you're buying all three up front, they're all probably gonna go out around the same time frame. So even if they last you 15 years, which they won't, guarantee you, guarantee you that they won't, you're gonna have to eventually replace all three at the same time. And no matter, no matter where you go, uh, you're looking around 13 to 15 grand a pop. That's just the way it is. And, the, and so I'm into solar, I'm a techie. I have two Teslas and I have zero batteries in my home which I'll explain to you why. Now, the system that I'm describing to you, the bumper to bumper is backed by a company called Solar Insure. You can actually go ahead and Google Solar Insure. They're a multi-billion dollar insurance company. And all this division does is they back nothing but uh, solar systems. And the reason that's important is because many, many solar companies, many of them that sell it, come and go. And so the last thing you wanna do is chase people down in case something goes sideways, with us, not only are we not going to go away, but even if we did, your warranty, your 30-year extended warranty is through Solar Insure. So, and it's transferable. So if you sell your home, you do anything, you have a 30-year peace of mind. Tesla right now gives you 20 years. We're giving you 30. And not only that, but when it comes to the panels, always ask people, whoever's offering it to you, how much do you guarantee that my panels will be producing in let's just say 25 years. Because if you get a 25 year loan, I wanna make sure that the panels are still working after my loan is paid off. Does that make sense? And so we guarantee you, and this is in writing, okay? We guarantee you that in 25 years, your panels are going to be producing 87, at least 87% of the electricity they were producing on day one. And the way you'll know that, you'll get an app. And your app tells you in real time how much power your panels are generating on a moment by moment basis, daily, weekly, monthly, and an annual basis as well. So make sure you, you ask that because that's a very uh, important question for you to at least, so you don't have unrealistic expectations. Batteries, most people have unrealistic expectations and I'm telling them, we'll sell them to you. I mean, we'll give them to you at the best possible price, but just so you know, don't come to me in 20 years saying, hey, what happened to that battery pack that I'm still paying on? Because the loan is usually 25 years, but the batteries are long gone. And so I know Tesla has probably, meaning the cars, some of the best batteries, as you know, uh, storage technology. And I'm living proof that my Model S, the battery pack, when it went out, 14,000 to replace it. Thankfully, the warranty of the warranty on the battery pack is a 10-year 150,000 mile, and so I was covered. But when they replaced it, I asked the technician down at Tesla, so I'm good for another 10 years because it's a new battery pack. He's like, you only get one exchange, and that's it. So uh, we are literally in the process of trading it in, and I'm getting, a because my wife drives that one, I'm getting her a Model 3 now. I cannot afford to be without a warranty on these battery packs. They are very, and just so you know, the ones that we put on walls, power walls, or whether it be the LGs, or whether it be the Enphase, or whether it be whatever, they're the same thing. 
They're all made up of a bunch of little batteries inside. And just like your cell phone, just like my mom, I bought her an Apple Watch years ago. And you know, she called me up saying, hey, it's not working. Uh, what is it? Well, I put it to charge all night. And just a little red light flashes. I know what it is. The battery's dead. I mean, she did nothing wrong. She's like, well, you told me I could get it wet. And you told I go, mom has nothing. It's just the batteries degrade. They degrade. Every, I mean, there's no battery in the world that doesn't degrade. Here, again, with the panels, they degrade. But we guarantee you that they will be producing 87% of the power they were producing on day one, on, in year number 30, uh, 25. And if you buy the more expensive panels, uh, we guarantee you that you're going to be generating 92% of the power on year number 25 that you were producing on day number one. And it's all verifiable. But solar insure, third-party warranty, that should be something you look for. Because again, what if this company, we disappear, then you're screwed. And Google it. How many co companies disappear? And unfortunately, it's very common. Take a look at us, the size and everything else, and you'll have the peace of mind. Uh, also, if you decide to sell your home, uh, just like with all the other companies I'm sure that you're talking to, we don't put a lien on your home. That's very important because it will affect you when you sell it or when you refinance your home. Uh, we don't do that. There's no lien on your home. So therefore, if you want to sell it, you can sell it and just simply whatever you still owe, add it to the price of the home, pay it off during escrow, or the buyer can assume the actual loan. That's pretty cool. Um, like I said, if you buy my home, you can take over my $600 a month uh, summer bill from Edison, or you can take over my $158 year round bill that we have with solar power, which is pretty cool as well. How about if I decide to move and I want to take my panels with me? You could do that 100%. You would be responsible for the fee of removing them, bringing them down, and then wherever you go to, somebody's going to have to install it for you. And there are companies, but by you, the way. But you guys aren't a part of that. We're not a part of that because we'll put you in contact. Just to give an example, part of the reason we're competitive with so many areas, we use contractors, roofers usually, to install them and bring them down because that's all they deal with is roofs. you got to be really careful with your roof. No, I understand that. I've been yeah. quoted already if I decided to move how much it would cost me. Sure through the company that I'm currently dealing with. So they've already right. given me a guaranteed price if I ever decide to. We would it. not do that. We, we, we don't do that because we just specialize. Gotcha. For, yeah, we, we would not be able to even get involved because we don't know where, how far, you know, or, or if oh, it, it would have to be in the state of California. That was oh, the- If it's local, it's easy, but I'm talking about theoretically somebody- No, 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 I'm just saying within the state of California, that that was a- I can, find, what, I can find out a quote and just kind of give you a general ballpark. I'll give you a call uh, later in the week or through- it, you, you could, however, it was a guarantee. Yeah, it, yeah like I said, it wouldn't be a guarantee. Yeah, and in most cases, most cases, the like in uh, in the case of all the ones that we're installing this week, all the solar systems are designed for the specific home. Absolutely, and Absolutely. so that so it could be a, even if it's a little bigger, a little smaller, the plant could be off a little bit. But you could is what I'm saying. They are yours, and you're free to do you know whatever you want to do with them, uh, and so on. So what I want to do is just get right down to your actual proposal to show you what it is that we're talking about. And again, I still would like to know, this is the part that I was going to ask you because it plays a tremendous, tremendous difference in payment price of batteries versus no batteries. Uh, first of all, why is it that you were considering batteries? And there's no wrong answer. I'm just curious. That's all. Um, multiple reasons. Number one, uh, kind of want to get off the grid a little bit. Uh, I also want to pay back Edison a little bit if you uh, understand what I mean by that. Um, I also have plans in installing a possible jacuzzi or pool in the future. And uh, as time progresses, and as we can see in California, most vehicles are becoming battery and we're gonna have to go battery on, on all our vehicles. I have two young daughters. Um, I see in the future that there's a possibility that they'll be using up more electricity. So I still want to have that availability to use uh, as much electricity as I need. And I also know if there's ever, uh, you know, a power failure around, I got a limited amount of time with the electricity that I do have uh, if I do have those batteries. Okay, perfect. Okay, that's fine. And like I say, what I'm going to do with your permission is just show you two options. The second option will be based on my experience for whatever it's worth. And then you make the final choice. I mean, you're the boss. That's what I'm saying. Uh, but I just want to at least do my part because like I'm telling you, I'm a techie. Uh, I'm a nerd. I love Tesla. I have two cars. And every, with everything that I know, I don't have the battery. And I'll show you why. 
But then again, it's your decision, obviously, and I respect that. I just want to do my part by kind of showing you your options because everything you described to me, I have an option that I think can work as good, if not better, than the batteries, and I'll show it to you right now, okay? So what I'm going to do in this example is basically just show you your proposal. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, this is your home right here? Yes. Now, this is based with the system that we have set up, which is 5.46 kilowatts. 5.46 kilowatts is kind of, I uh, believe, the size that Anthony was mentioning to me that you were shopping around for us in the neighborhood, if you would. And the reason that you're at 5.6 in the area of 5.6 kilowatts is because of this right here. I'll come back to that just right now. If you, note, if you notice here, this size of a system will replace 106% of what you currently use with Edison. Does that make sense? So we're yeah. just replacing apples to apples. Now, if you were to do that, my one option is like you said, you throw three batteries into the system as well. When you throw three batteries into the system as well, well, now you're going to have, you're going to be able to produce more electricity, store more electricity and feed from it primarily at night, which is when the sun starts to go down. Then your system starts to pull or your home starts to pull electricity from the batteries until they're drained. And then at that point, uh, you're back on the grid. Does that make sense? That's kind of how the batteries work. Uh, unless there's a power outage in the, in the daytime. Now, what I also tell people to be very careful to get it in writing is in regards to how the, because when, when we hear about the power grid going down and, and so on, we got to be very careful because what most uh, consumers don't realize is that depending on a lot of different factors, if the power grid goes down, you're very limited and you will be, uh, if that happens, Unless you are with batteries, you're going to be off the grid. The batteries will kick in. You're right. And that's the only way to really guarantee protection against. So that's the plus of having batteries. You're right in regards to that. Uh, it all boils down to price and payment. That's just how simple it is. And I'm going to show you the two options right now. The way we have it set up right now, and I'm going to go back over here. Let me, uh, let me just back up here just one second. Uh, let me just zoom out. Okay, so the way we have it set up right here, um, we work with most and I do mean most of the options out there. And what we're talking about right now, we're talking about, if you were to ask me some of my favorite ones, if I had to get a battery, I would go with Enphase. They give you more capacity, better price, great warranty. I mean, that's just the way Enphase works. And the reality is like with all batteries, they all hang around the same, uh, they all hang around the same pricing. Because battery technology, like solar technology, it runs equally. Because as soon as a new development comes up with batteries, everybody runs with it or panels, kind of everybody runs with it. There's really no 100% priority uh, or, or, or you know, own, uh, you know, intellectually owned property when it comes to that. Now, what you see here, two things, kind of like the other proposal that you had, the bars show you how much electricity you use throughout the year on a month by month basis, which is the month at the, at the bottom. The yellow one or the yellow curving line shows you how much power this system would produce and so as you can see, obviously, like I was telling you, our summer, especially where you're at, I'm kind of there too, from March until October, we're producing a lot because of the sunny. It's very simple. And then in the winter, it's when it drops off for about a month or two, and then it picks back up. So in this example, two things to keep in mind. When you're producing more than you're using, which is, of course, what you're seeing here, you are earning credits back from Edison, it's called net metering. So you're rolling your meter backwards, basically. You're selling it to them, and they're in turn are selling it to other people, your neighbors, whoever, okay? So that's what the way it works. You store all these extra credits, extra credits, and then in the time when you are actually using more than, it, than your system's producing, you're using those credits to pay them back. And then when you run out of credits, theoretically, you would go ahead and start to pay with dollars, if you would, if you ever got to that point, or in your case, uh, you're not going to be using as much of their electricity at night because the sun is down behind batteries. Now, the only challenge or one of the challenges with batteries, and again, I'm not trying to sway you one way or the other, just so you know, I'm just trying to do my job and try to give you all the information that, that, I, that I have. Does that make sense? So yeah. let's don't take it the wrong way. Uh, one of the challenges of the batteries is that the real question becomes, how much do I pay for electricity that I'm pulling from the batteries because you're paying for the batteries, of course, right? And the problem with Edison, because I have Edison like you, we all fall under what's called TOU or time of use. That's one thing they switched over years ago. So what that means is- it's for the different you, systems. Exactly. The cheapest electric, like my cars, both cars, 
I back them up at night. I plug them in in the daytime, but my car knows automatically that don't start charging until after 9.30. Technically it's nine o'clock when the price of electricity drops like a rock. Okay, big, big difference. And that's because most people come home uh, you know, between six and nine, we do laundry, we cook, we do all kinds of stuff. We're using the most power when it's the most expensive. The cheap, the cheapest electricity by far, and look at your uh, time of use bill, it's always going to be nighttime. So you are going to be saving money. Yes, you are. But you're also going to be saving the cheapest money compared to the daytime or evening hours when it's the most expensive. And so what I mean by that. You have to ask yourself, okay, well, I'll give it, let's just get to the chase, if you would, and I'll let you make your own decision. Uh, so here, it's based on those three battery packs. Right now, average-wise, average, we're looking at about $204, give or take, a month. Right now, and I know it goes a lot higher because I'm in the same process. I'm in Ontario, like I told you, but we're talking about average year, uh, you know, throughout the year being higher. But average is around 204 With us, with the panel system, and on top of the panel system, the three batteries, your bill would be 257. Now, if you have a quote that gives you better pricing, which by the way, this is based on a couple of things. Let me just jump to it right here. You're looking at a cost, a gross cost of around 80 grand, give or take, even though it's not final. And the reason that I say it's not final, because once I see a proposal with the capacity of the batteries, which makes a difference, there's two batteries can hold this much, but if you have three, that are holding a lot more, then it's going to change the dynamics and it's going to bring it down. It cannot go higher. I'm just giving you the worst case scenario. I'm being very upfront with you. And from there, once I have something in writing, we can match or beat just about anything you come across. Because when it comes to solar and even batteries, there's no such thing as bad batteries or cheap batteries. If I go out and buy, uh, let's just say D cell batteries for my boom box or something. Uh, yeah, you can go buy those yellow swap me ones that are so cheap that are going to last you about 10 minutes so you can buy Duracell. When it comes to solar and it, it, everything is good, there's no such thing as bad or cheap, but pricing does make a difference based on the type of equipment. So I can give you a, a definite, a, a, a final price, but you would qualify for two things. The number one would be the federal tax credit, which based on this pricing would be $20,000 when you file your taxes that the federal government will give you regardless of who you buy from. That's just with anybody, not just with me. But we also have a new customer incentive program that basically gives you your worth, your first year's worth of payments so you don't have to have a payment until your second year rolls around. So the first year, your payment of 257 times 12 is 3076. So when we install your system, company sends you a check for 3076. You can use it to make your first year's payment. You can use it to go on vacation or do whatever you want to do with it, it would be your choice. And I'm showing you again, I'm telling you up front, this is not the final pricing. It can only go down from here because I just want to know a few more details uh, regarding those batteries. Now, I would present to you option one, which is what you're seeing here before you. And I would present to you option two, which is what I did. Because I started with the batteries, just like you. And every single person, like four companies came to my home. Uh, uh, Vinit, uh, Tesla, we had Sunrun, and uh, a, a fourth one. Every single one of them talked me out of it. And they're in the business of selling it. Every single of the four companies talked me out of it. Nobody, because I was selling, yeah, I get it, but I want batteries. I don't want to be uh, blah, blah, blah. And I've seen the power walls and I've seen, I want to be cool. I want to get it. And let me just show you what I learned. Doesn't mean you got to do it. Doesn't mean that if you want it, you, you know, you're wrong. I'm just showing you a better option than I thought. Here's the, here's the plan. Now here, you are basing it off this system right here, producing 106% of the electricity. Here's an option B too, whatever you want to call it that I would tell you, you have a lot of great room uh, on your roof, a, a lot. And so what I would say, if you're concerned about everything you told me, let me just show you something. I'm just going to stop here. I would say if you wanted to, well, we'll even go one more just for the heck of it. Okay, just for the heck of it. And again, this is just for Australia. You don't even need that much. But let's just say here, if they got, if Edison approves it, which I'm sure they would, but I just want to show you another option that in this example, what I'm showing you, instead of a 4.6 kilowatt system, you have a 7.8. Now, what does that mean? If you look at this picture, 
you are producing a ton more electricity, 50 or whatever it was, uh, 56, yeah, 54% more than you even need. So ridiculous amount of power that you're generating. All that extra power is giving you a ton of credit with Edison. That because it's so big, now the way it works is not only are you going to have credit to pay for any electricity you might need in one year, five years, or 20 years, but because it's so much extra electricity, at the end of the year, because Edison, all, all uh, uh, utility companies, they settle up with you once a year. That's, I don't know if I explained explain that to you. Once a year, you're going to get a bill, and the bill is going to say, you owe us $1,200 because you use more than you generated, or uh, you use uh, $1,200 more, but you have $2,000 of credit. So that means you have an extra $800 after you pay us what you owe us. What do you want to do with the $800? Bucks? Do you want to let it roll into next year, or can we cut you a check? And that's where it gets fun. That's where it gets fun. Not only that, but in this example, you would be using your credits when electricity is the cheapest, which is nighttime. Nighttime. And so in this example, again, I don't have a dog in the fight. I want to make sure you understand that. Either way, I'm okay with it. But what I'm going to do is go in here and just take off because that will be 36000 just for the system. Uh, let me just back up. Uh, back up. And show you this part. So now here you have a ton more electricity. You will never use this up. So if you buy one, two, three electric cars in the future, you're covered. Okay. Uh, and going back to what I'm telling you, the only thing, the one thing that you would not have, and I'm being very upfront with you, you would not have that peace of mind that if the power goes completely out, even though you have solar, and even though it's in the daytime, your power will go out as well. Don't ever let anybody tell you that because you're solar in the I'm daytime. Still to the grid. Yeah, you're still connected. So don't let, I hear so many people say, yeah, but the way they were telling me is that if power goes down, yeah. I go, if you don't have batteries, you're going down with us or with them. Don't ever let them tell you otherwise because you're connected to it and it's a safety thing and it's right because otherwise you would start shorting out or something. So what I'm getting at in this example, you would have the ultimate battery. For me, the ultimate battery is the grid. Now, here's the one time that it does make a difference. I'm being very upfront with you. If your power goes out once every month or two, you know, you're somewhere where it's, it, it, there are places like that where it's spotty. It's going out once, twice a month, and it's just a pain to restart everything. You're, then that's a different story. That's a different story. But if you're in a reliable area, uh, I ask them, but you don't have to answer this, but I ask people all the time. In the, make it easy. In the last 12 months, how many times did your power go out? If you say one, two, or zero, bless your heart with the batteries. We have them. We'll give you the best price possible. But again, you're probably not going to see much use of it from an emergency backup. But if you're going to if, if you're going to drain them at night, which is makes a lot of sense to drive, the question is, what did the batteries cost me divided by the kilowatt? Is how much? And so I would not replace the cheap. Nighttime. It's like my car, like I told you, both cars, no. Even if I plug them in the morning, they don't start charging. It's it, the cars are programmed at 9 30, because I want to be way past nine. At 9 30, <clears throat> they start dripping, 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 dripping. It's cheap. It's dirt cheap at night. And I'll even show you my uh, last statement, uh, one of my uh, statements here, just one second. But going back to this, now you're at 154%. There's no battery in the world that's going to back up 54% of the battery uh, of the power you generate. None. So big bad battery, there it is. And the pricing now, 127 a month. 127 a month. And that's still because it's so much power. Usually we have about a 15 to $20 a month fee that we have to pay to Edison. Even though you're on solar, you still connect this connection fee. You have to pay it, but because you're paying so much, I mean, you're generating so much. In this example, uh, it actually shows a negative seven connection fee. It's just so much. Now, the only challenge we could hit, which I don't anticipate because I didn't hit it with, uh, with Edison, is there are utility companies because they're trying to fight for the utilities right now. You got to understand that solar is not good for utility yeah, companies. They're, they're trying not to go out of business. I understand. Yes. So they are limiting us to 100% of what you have with the exception of you buying an electric car, they'll let you increase it to like 110%. Edison's not doing that yet. So if you were considering 
that. Like for instance, uh, you go to any other district in Southern California, when somebody tells us, yeah, put me at 180, 120%, 140%, I'm sorry, but your utility company caps it at 100 to replace what you've been using. And the only exception, if you show them proof, I have a Tesla or some kind of electric car coming, then they'll let you go up to like 110 and that's as high as we can go. But with Edison, what I'm telling people is I think they'll get there eventually as well. Uh, but like, this is a huge system. I'm just assuming they approve it, which I'm sure they would, but blah, blah, blah. But now we're talking 127. And you know that your bill goes up a hell of a lot higher than that, especially in the summertime. I mean, just like mine. So now we're talking about, whoa, that's a massive difference. And so when I tell people, which I, I don't recommend you do, but I'm just being, you know, the way I am, I always tell them, if you're really still concerned about the emergency part, because the Drawing the batteries at night at $36,000, how, how many years will it take before it makes you money based on what you're saving? And in most cases, again, I'm just being very honest with you, in most cases, the batteries will be dead before that happens. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. That's just the reality. They'll be dead. Do the math. Now here, you're talking about, if you look at the cost of electricity, this one shows you with Edison, you're paying around 34 cents a kilowatt hour right now. With the system uh, that I'm showing you, you would be paying 13 cents a kilowatt hour. Now, Edison, last October, their fiscal year starts every October. Last October, they raised it 9%, the, the, the rates, okay? And it's gonna keep that. 9%. The October before that, 11%. So if I was to show you, an average of just 4%, even though that's not true, because as you can see, it's average 10%, but just 4%. In five years, the 204 will be 247. In 10 years, it's 299. And it just keeps going on and on and on. Whereas you, you're at a fixed 127. So going back to what I was telling you, if you're concerned about your power going out all the time, instead of paying 30 something thousand, you can pay 4,000 for a generator all whole entire home generator, Home Depot. You know what I mean? And have that puppy on standby and save yourself $30,000. Now, I don't have a dog in the fight, like I'm telling you. I'm here to give you the best value to fight for your business that if you say, fine, but I want the batteries, well, give me a shot at earning your business by giving you the 30 year uh, warranty on the panels installation, like I said, and components. Let me have to do that. Uh, and so if you're going to spend more money, so if, they, if you want the bad, we can, again, give me something in writing that I can beat is what I'm saying. I don't know if you gave uh, uh, Anthony anything specific. Okay, oh, yeah. But if you give it to me, so it's very, it's, it's simple math. It's just, it's just a matter of answering. Can you scroll down some more the other way? Sure. Let me know where. Right there. Go, no, 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 go back up. Now, you, now go back down, right there. Okay. Now, what this represents, just so you know, because again. So things have changed in the incentives, and you're correct. So you went from 3000 to 1500 Yes. Correct? And I'm also seeing that there's a 1.99 rate. Yes. Not I'm not going for that. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to be up front like I told sure. Anthony. Uh, I've got a zero percent interest. Okay. And I, that's that's very 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 important to me. Um, whether it comes to batteries or not, I'm flexible with that. Okay. I understand the reason that it's good. I understand the reason why it'll cost me less to do otherwise. Sure. And it, I can also understand why it would behoove me to have more of a uh, a, a higher rate and percentage. I'm sorry, scroll up so I can give you the, be the better ter terminology. Right there. Uh, no, that's not I, eat other. But what I'm saying is uh, the rate that I would have past the 100%, right? I can sure. understand why 150 is way better than just having 105%. Totally understand that. Uh, and what I'd like to do is Hypothetically, let's just let's pretend this is my my uh, retirement home. Sure. I want to be comfortable within 25 years. I'm hoping that I live another hundred years. You know, yeah. 
However, I want to be comfortable uh, as, as time changes. And, and as we already know, uh, the world is going more electric than anything else. Sure. So um, with 0%, I'd like to be over 138% um, given back uh, or, or that I can get the offset. That's what I was looking for, the solar offset. So I'd like to be over 138%. 152 is nice. Sure. Uh, but I think my... I want to say I had like over, uh, so my usage throughout the year, I want to say was about 12 to 13, uh, 12 to 1300. So okay. I'd like to be um, well over that. Yes. Well, but it would have to be at a 0% rate. Here's, here, that, then yeah. Here's, it means nothing to me. here's the key thing that, and again, I'm being very upfront with you, like being very upfront with me. At the end of the day, if we want to sit here and talk about the window dressing, if you would, in regards to how we label things, right? At the end of the day, it boils down to, it's not the 0% that I'm assuming you're looking at, but the effect that the 0% can have. Does that make sense? It, it, let me give you an example of what I mean. Sure. Let, let, me give an, let me give you an example of what I mean here, just so you know. We can come in here and you can tell me, look, everything here. These are the different financing options. We have multiple finance. That's another thing that makes us very unique. We have multiple. And by the way, most people, most big companies use the same finance companies. If you look at just one company, which is Goodly, I'll give an example. Uh, let me go back to uh, Sunlight Financial. doesn't matter. This is just a few of the options that are available with one single finance company right there. Five or uh, seven years this year, 10 years, 25 years old. It doesn't really matter. Now, what I am telling you that matters is simple math. Now, I can give you, if you were to tell me, yeah, I want a 0% interest rate, but I just need to know on what loan balance you're talking about. Because the lower the interest rate goes, every single finance company has what's called a, a, a dealer fee. Every single, every single finance company. Now, I don't need to tell you that interest rates are rising dramatically. I don't need to tell you that. So when somebody asks me, well, let me ask you, how can a company afford to give you 0%? You tell me. How? They're going to gonna rise at the cost. Of course. And if you want to do that and you're okay with that, we can do that too. But I'm, I'm just not, trying to... I'm not okay with that. But what I'm telling you is... No, 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 no. But what I'm saying, but what, listen to me, please. I, I'm just simply saying that if you notice here, you see where it says 5.99? 4.99? You see that? It doesn't mean sucker them into a higher rate. We get more money or anything like that. It's just simply how the loan structure. So what I'm getting at... If you, if you can just give me, and again, I don't have anything in, from you, so I'm just you know, assuming that you have it somewhere. If you can give me in writing, like a proposal that has the interest rate, the loan amount, because that's why here, you see, I'll give you an example. You see this- That's right why now. I asked you guys beforehand yeah. to give me your best bet first. Sure. Uh, the, I mean, we know, how, we know how this, this it, works, it, right? Yeah, but, but what I'm saying, I can send you that Right now, if you want, but what I'm saying, all I'm asking you to consider is the bigger picture, right? That it boils down to the loan amount, meaning the cost, because it's 100% financing. That's what I'm assuming you're interested in. Nothing out of pocket, right? It's going to be based on that. It's going to be based. So I'll send it to you right after this webinar is over. No problem. It's going to be based on this. Now, this is based off what's called a BOB, which is black on black, which is the number one panel people want. Because with black on black, I'm sure you've seen the panels that most people have. They have like little white grids, the lines. Mm -hmm. Does that make a difference to you? Um, most people not, necess not necessarily, but you know, I know the black on black, and I do like the black on black better. I, that's what I got, and so what I'm saying is that okay, but that's why I'm asking you that it, all these things are kind of come into this to make sure that it's that. Make sure the brand of the inverter. And so again, I can send you that at the end of the at the end of the day because I don't want to trust me. I don't want you to spin your wheels. I, I'm not a salesperson, like I said, or anything like that. But I just want to make sure that we keep things within context because everything, whether it be a lower rate, whether it be a zero rate, whether it be an incentive like the one that I'm sharing with you, uh, what I'm sharing with you right here, who pays for that? Somebody's got to pay for it, right? And it's just it's just, and so whether it be zero or here, I can take this off right here. Uh, I got to go back in and remove this. And the loan amount will adjust just accordingly. So here you're at 38,000 federal tax, tax credit, uh, 38. And so again, personally, I'd like to be upfront with everybody for the simple reason 
but I just so want to ultimately sure. from um, I'm sorry what I'm seeing here the the net cost of the whole system will be twenty six thousand. In this example, based on this, but if you want that, like you were saying, that that best number, final number, let me run it at the end of this, and you'll have it within ten minutes. And then I just got to move some things around as well. But I just want you to understand when you make a decision, and that's fine with me. Wherever you go with, just make sure you're comparing the loan amount, not even the net cost, the loan amount, because the loan amount is it's costing you. That's with anybody. Not, and so, I so I would rather have a one point nine nine at thirty six than let's just say uh, zero at forty. You see what I'm saying? Because I can pay it off. There's no prepayment penalties on any of the loans. You can, if you want to do it sooner, you can do it sooner. If you want to take the full 25 year term, you can do that. Uh, now, this also includes the 30 year bumper to bumper uh, full warranty on the whole thing. That's a big deal. If somebody tells you that you're going to have a 20 year manufacturer's warranty or it's coming from us, me personally, I would be a little concerned because what if you're not around anymore? So I, I would like for it to be some third party uh, insurance company that does nothing but back. So that's why it's called solar insure. But I can go ahead, like I said, and send you that number. If you give me about 10 minutes before I bail, because I got to get going. But before that, and that way you just look at the total picture and you're a very sharp guy. If you look at the total loan amount, you look at the size of the, which is you're going to look at loan amount. You're going to look at system size, right? This is how much it's going to produce. So make sure you compare the two, 7.4. And, that, and that's the thing too, I, from what the, the bill that I sent you, yes. that estimated amount that you're giving me now is less than what my bill is at the end of the year. How much are you, are you I, don't, I don't have the bill, I don't have the bill, but what is it per year? It's uh, about uh, kilowatts. I sent, or... I sent that bill over. Uh, Anthony, I want to say. Yeah, it's, a, it's in the system. Okay, hold on, please. I'll tell you right now. I'll show you right now. Anthony, is this you? Yeah. Okay. So show me. Uh, I just want to see where 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 do we have it? Um, go go down to. Uh, Alfred's name and click on. Where is it? No, I'm trying to right there, right, right there. there. Okay, there we go. Okay, thank you. I, I see this thing's all day. Hold on. We got that, that here. This one. Right there. Do you have the other, the usage one by any chance? Uh, is it multiple pages, I think? Oh, it's yeah, it's multiple pages. So I did that. Um, okay, this is okay. So it's got this one. So let me go to the assets. That's probably the assets. Yeah, okay. there you go. Uh, so I'm sure, uh, hoping maybe it's here. Here we go. So right. now, yeah. is it okay? I'm looking at it right now, and so I'm looking at this. So this year, your daily average for this year is sixteen point one. You see that? Mm -hmm. Sixteen. So let's just do that right now. Sixteen point six one times three hundred sixty-five. If we multiply, let me see. I just want to make sure. Now, why is this so super high compared to the rest of the year? Is it just because of the summer? Yep. Okay. That's and COVID. All of us were home. Okay. Okay. That's fine. And so I just want you to see, uh, hold on one second. I might have to switch the view and I don't want to do that. Um, can you see the calculator right now? Yep. Okay. 16.61 is what it shows. Now I'm assuming it's obviously right. So let's just say 16.61 kilowatt hours a day, right? Mm -hmm. Times 365 days a year. That's 6,000. For the year, now based on your bill, six thousand. Now that's on the daily average, meaning we're taking into consideration the summer, right? Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Yes. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. So six thousand. So if we do that, now I'm going to go back to the uh, proposal that we have here because I want to make sure we get this right. Um, can you see a six thousand? Yeah, so that's right because this will be ten thousand. Yeah, but I, I could have sworn on my bill it said it, it gave the estimate. And I want to say it was around 12. I could be wrong. Yeah. I have to look at it because that I don't have that document right now in front yeah, of me. Yeah. But because the way I looked most, at it and, yeah. and I broke it down, I knew I was around 12. Now, what you don't want to do, and I'm just saying that you're the expert here. I'm not the expert. Uh, this one shows 16.61 this year. Last year was 19.68. So maybe that was because of COVID, like you said as well. 
But even if I go with the from last, so we have a good average, 16 between 16. I would call it 17 and a half between the two years, which is very good sampling, right? For two years. But even if we go with the other one, 19 and understand because of COVID, 19.68 times 365 days a year, that's 7183. If we use the high of last year, 71, um, 71. And on this one, we have got 10. So that's right. It's about 30% more, uh, give or take. Does that make sense? Now, mm -hmm. you want to be careful is you don't want to have a system that's just so big, you will never even get the credits for it. Or, I mean, you, you see what I'm saying? Um, mm -hmm. And so we're giving you just, so it is actually right here where we would give you at 145%, um, call it, let's just call it for the sake of argument, 130%. I mean, that, and that's a COVID averages which was super high. And so what I'm saying is that it, it, the system, based on what I see from this bill, but this bill can take into consideration the, uh, the last couple of years as well. Um, and so, so that's what I'm saying, that you just got to keep that in mind, basically, that okay, maybe you want to look into that. But what I'm saying is if you want that, uh, I'll send you a proposal right now via PDF that you can just mm -hmm. open up and view with the final number that my recommendation to you though is don't, Obviously, your your job is to you know, look at everything. But what I'm saying is that look at the because uh, if you were to ask me as far as value, I would tell you personally, I wouldn't even go with the 1.99 percent because there's a dealer fee built into the lower the rate goes in. Right now, rates are dropping. I mean, are increasing like crazy. Uh, and I'm telling you because I come from this world, from the mortgage world. We're at five five point two five five and a half conventional. So what I'm saying is that. How can somebody do 1.99? Very simple discount point. You're buying it down. And you could buy it down to zero. But that's more of a optics behind it, that if you want to do it, you can do it. My recommendation, look at the, make sure you're comparing the system size, 17.41. I'm going to get 10,400 uh, kilowatt hours, give or take, out of the system. They are black and black, because if we go with the one with the grids, they're cheaper. They are cheaper. But I think black and black is better. There's a newer technology. And they're more efficient. They generate more power or more wattage per panel than the old, the, the other ones. So, you know, this is the newest thing. Now, this also has baked into it that extended warranty of 30 years, which- This is Canadian-based as well? Uh, it's, it's Canadian companies, what it is. We only deal with North American ones. We don't have any issues with supply chain issues because everything that we have is it, it, here in North America. Either we make them in Georgia or Canada. So they're yeah. built here. The materials are here as well? Yeah, There's we don't coming from overseas at all with this. No, we don't. We don't do that right now. Like I'll give you an example. I'm not saying anything negative, but I just had a, a client that's coming with us that was going to go with Tesla, but Tesla's out two to three months, and they suspended sales right now of the solar because they say that they can't get panels right now. So they yeah. went from two three month wait to suspended sales. Right now they're just suspended. Uh, we have when we come and we bring them. Like I said, from Georgia, most of our <clears> stuff uh, is American made, and we bring here. There's no overseas. Uh, for that very reason, we haven't hit a bump in and most people, as you know, bring it from China. And what uh, about my electrical panel? Are you replacing my electrical panel as well? Um, yeah, the, the, the electrical panel, if you need to upgrade, we will upgrade it and throw it into the actual loan and your payment will probably go up 50 cents or 20 cents. I mean, it won't even affect anything. Uh, if, so if you do need it. I've already been told that I don't need it, but see oh, how, how, however, seeing how things are changing. And like I said, everything is going electrical. I'd rather be in front of the, the gun. And then if you do that, I will throw it into the loan personally. And I, mean, I get that. It's, it's, it's yeah. pennies on the dollar once you, you yeah. spend it that far out, which That's is fine. Right. And not only that, but on top of that, I think that you're right because most of you better have, you should have at least 200 amps just because, like, it, it, for, give an example. When I, they brought my car, I can only charge one car at a time because my electrical panel was outdated. So they can yeah. do one slot. Then when I'm in solar, they're like, there's not even a slot for the solar part of it. So they have everything had to be. And so you're right. And, the, and considering the fact that the number one reason for fires at homes are electrical related, uh, every, you're right. Everything's going electrical. Uh, my recommendation, upgrade your panel just to upgrade it. And like yeah, I, said, I, need, I, I need it upgraded. That's, that, that. that's a must. Bring so if you're going to send me something, make sure that's added as well, please. It will, I will do it right now. Like I said. Um, and so can you also send me uh, you 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 currently have it at 145 offset. Can I have both the 145 and the one? What was it? 150. Okay. Yes. Uh, I'd like to see that uh, also. 
Sure. You gotta so show me. Okay, so, uh, so right now it's at 145, right now. What, what do you want me to show you? I want it the 145 and then you add in an additional panel. Go ahead and add one, one panel. Yeah, so can I see both Perfect. of those? Perfect. And then, and then on top of that, um, uh, man, sorry, lost my train of thought. No, no worries. Well, I'm going to text you. I, I'll get your number from Anthony. I'll text you my number. And when I say you can call me at any time, uh, I mean it because, like I said, I'm not a solar pro per se. I'm very well educated in it because I got Are you super licensed? educated. I'm sorry? You're licensed? Uh, absolutely. With the state of California, the California yeah, State Licensing Board, we have what's called the Home Improvement Salesperson License or HIS license, 100% fingerprinted, uh, the whole nine yards. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, yeah, so I, I'll, I'll be waiting for your text uh, and your email. Uh, All right. I'm sure I have a ton more questions for you. I know you, you're probably trying to get out of here. No, that's fine. I got to just, I, I got to run down uh, with my wife to run it there. But I have my phone with me. So by all means, as soon as you get it, call me. Uh, I, I think this is a very important, like I told you, my only interest here is to give you all the information you need to make an informed decision. Oh. I do have another question. Sure. So, so the incentive that we, I'm sorry, the tax return that we receive, uh, is that tax the tax rebate? As yes. soon as I receive that tax rebate, uh, let's see, what's, how much, can you go back down to it so I can see how much right. is uh, let me, Can you see it? Or, or oh, yeah, not? yeah, I see it, I see it. Okay. So it's that 9,000, 9,000, okay. So I should receive that back now. If I give that back to the company itself. The uh, way it works is this, uh, and I'm just calling it what it is because I don't want to misunderstand it. It's a federal tax credit, which is a hard credit from the federal government over any taxes that are owed back to you. It's not a rebate per se where you fill out a form, but it's when you do your taxes, right? So you're going to get that. So what you're seeing here is assuming the company's going to give you, as you can see, 18 months. They're going to give you 18 months Let's just say we install it this year. You're going to file your taxes for this year, next year. So we're going to be plenty of time. 18 months, you file your taxes. Then you get 9,000 back. Okay, the 9,000, you have two choices. Here, we're assuming that you're going to take the 9,000 and send them off to your lender, okay? Basically, yeah. say, apply to my loan. Then your payment stays at 115 for right. the remainder of the 25-year period, which are 300 months. If you were to say, no, thank you, I'm going to blow it or save it or whatever, then your payment starting in month 19 would be 157 because you didn't apply it to the loan. You kept the money. Does that make sense? Absolutely. That's, it's your right. We don't care which one you do, but I'm just being very upfront with you. Uh, to no, make sure. I understand. And, and um, also, here's what I'm doing, which I encourage you to do with anybody you talk to. Have them record the webinar like I am right now because I'm going to send you a copy of it as well so you can review it as much as you need to. Okay. And so you guys... Now that incentive you did have on there, I see yeah. that it's no longer on there. Now, yeah. was that just added to the cost anyway? Pretty much it is. So like okay. I said, it is, yeah. but it's not even worth. I mean, I, I didn't do it. Personally, I didn't do it. I, I'm just being very upfront with you, okay? Uh, there's a lot of people that for a lot of companies work on the marketing department, right? How to suit in the pot if you would. But I always say nothing's for free. I'm just being a very upfront. There are- I understand that. Yeah, yeah. So I'll send you the best one. And like I said, that way you can make an informed decision, whether it's go with us or anybody else. At least it's going to be an educated decision. And hopefully I you know, provide you with food for thought to consider as well. That's all. I appreciate the time. All right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Anything, call me, please. I mean it. Sunday, Monday, doesn't matter. Just give me a ring. I have my phone with me all the time. Uh, unless I'm on a call or a webinar, then I'll call you as soon as I get out of there. But uh, can you scroll up just a tad bit? So the net cost is 36. What's well, no, no, that, that's because, that's what, yeah, that's because I took off the tax credit of you keeping it. But if I put mm -hmm. it back in here, then the net cost is twenty six. Okay, and the loan amount is for thirty six. Correct, with nothing down, nothing out of pocket. But keep in mind, please consider this when you think about anybody. The thirty year bumper to bumper warranty is here. Most will now. When you say that, yes, right. Uh, on the application, I'm assuming or I can see which one of my panels is not working properly. I send that information to you guys. And from there, you guys come out. What's the turnaround time? Uh, it, again, because we were operating, you know, 13, 14 states here in California, you're probably looking at about no later than a week, uh, usually a lot sooner than that, just because of the scheduling, whether you call it in the morning, whether you call it in the afternoon or whether you call it at night, it's going to make a difference over the weekend. 
Uh, so I would say as soon as you notice that something went down, the system's not working, you give us a call, we'll dispatch somebody to either go fix it, or if it's a panel that needs, or a component that needs to be replaced, we'll replace it completely at no cost to you with, by the way, zero deductible. Am I, oh, that's great. Yes. Uh, am I able to schedule the time frame on when I want the energy to be sent back to Edison? So um, for instance, you know, we're on the tier times. Yes. Can I send it? Can I send that energy back during the time where it's mostly needed? That way I can get a bigger refund back. It's very limited in how you can do it, to be very honest with you, because most of these are already because the inverter is bringing all the all the powers coming out to the inverter and it's feeding it to the house. The way it does it, just so you know, in real time, any electricity that you're not using in the daytime, which is what you're referring to, excess mm -hmm. electricity goes back right immediately. Absolutely. That, and that and that was one of the things with the batteries from what I understood, because I'm storing it, the energy that I could send back at a specific time frame can can uh, give me more cash back or credit, whatever you want to call it, through Edison. And the key thing, if you wanted to maximize the value there, that equation would work if the batteries were so darn expensive. You know what I mean? No, absolutely. Yeah. And I, but, I but, but going back to you, if you're using, and remember, most people, not COVID related, of course, the power that the most power is generated, not just in the daytime when the sun's out, but most specifically mid morning to mid, mid uh, late afternoon. And so most people are not using all that power during that time frame, anyways, when it's the most expensive. That's when you're sending it back. And not only that, but most care, uh, most uh, utility companies, including uh, you, would be coming in at the perfect time because right now we are what's called net metering 2.0 which is where you're at right now, uh, as you, I don't know if you know, but they were trying to pass, it just derailed it. They were trying to pass net metering 3.0 uh, and mm -hmm. they just canceled it because they're trying to keep reducing how much they pay you for the power. Net metering mm -hmm. 1.0, you were getting point for point, dollar for dollar. It makes sense. Now we get only a portion of what we buy from them. And then the next one they're trying to roll out, which is 3.0, they're trying to uh, almost eliminate it, which is bull. And so, but, but that's not, and not only that, but the first tier one, I mean, uh, net metering 1.0 and net metering 2.0, whenever a change takes place, you get grandfathered into that old plan. So gotcha. Knock it out while you can. All right. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Please send me that. Great information. questions. You got it. Thank you, sir. All right. Have a good one. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.